Hi Tarot Bumblebees, it's Ethany and I am delighted today to be sharing with you a brand new deck I found on Etsy. This is the Wild Whiskers Spirit Animal Oracle and I found this while I was perusing Etsy for new decks and I'm so glad I found it. Now I have quite a number of animal decks but this, the artwork, I couldn't go past. I mean look at this adorable fox. This is a print that was sent along with the uh, deck that I purchased, so I can't wait to frame this. I think this is gorgeous. It's going in my altar space, so I have um, a lot of art in my altar space. So you get the deck, and then you also get a little cloth, and it's so nice. It's that velvety, mm. velvet <laughs> pouch. So I'm going to uh, swap over cameras and go through this 40 card deck with you. And like I said, I'm really excited. I love to support indie creators and, and artists, and this is one of those times I get to do that. So let's go and discover the deck. I'm so excited to go through this deck. So as I mentioned before, this is a deck that I found on Etsy. Oh, I can't wait to frame that. It's going straight up, straight to the pool room. Anyone who's Australian knows that one. I'm gonna hang that up, it is freaking gorgeous. And then we have the pouch. Oh, it feels so lovely. And the deck. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. I see what you've done there. <laughs> oh, was the second dairy pouch. There's another pouch. Maybe this pouch didn't come with that one. I don't know. I'm confused. There's pouches galore. Because there's another one. Can't have too many pouches though. I reuse them a lot. Like even if I don't use them for my decks, they're really good gift bags. <laughs> for things and I tend to give a lot of gifts. So I'm always holding on to pouches. Okay, let's see if I can even pick this up. Oh, look at the backs. <gasps> I'm already in love. There is something about this incredibly detailed, beautiful pencil. You can tell it's like this gorgeous color pencil. The shading in with the black, it's just scrumptious. This is pretty thin cardstock. It's like standard 330 GSM. It's black on both sides. So that's pretty, it's a pretty standard little indie deck. So we have a little bit about the Wild Whiskers Oracle and a little bit about how to use the deck. Oh, it's on both sides. Okay, Moon Journey. Okay. So if you, oh my God. Sloths are adorable. Can't even control myself. <laughs> Snap out of it. I can't pick things up probably because of my nails. <laughs> okay. Sloth. Oh my stars. Sensitive sloth, tranquil, tolerant, diplomacy. Peaceful spirit of the trees, teach me stillness in the winds of change. Oh my. That sloth is so cute. I can't even... Roguish Raccoon, Trash Panda, Courage, Problem Solving, Adventure, Mischievous and Playful Spirit of Pan, Reveal Any Secrets or Deceit in My Life. Ooh, great affirmations. Prosperous Pig, that's my year. I'm the year of the pig. I'm a water pig. Regeneration, Good Luck and Abundance. Sacred Symbol of Fortune and Fertility. Bless me with opportunity and prosperity. I want to put one of these. I want that on my um, prosperity altar but I don't want to take it out of the deck. So then we have Mischievous Monkey. I'm not going to read all of it, but you can see we've got three, three keywords and then a little bit about it. This would be such a great deck for like baby witches, kids. Also, although I, I think this is adorable. Ernest Elephant, Gentleness, temp Temperance and Goodwill. I really love this aesthetic. This look kind of like cute. It's so beautiful. Curious cat. Independence, intuition, balance. Clever crow. Oh my gosh. The artwork is so pretty. It really pops. And I know that there are a lot of people who don't like the borders and all that, but it is really lovely. It would be cool to have the, the whole thing, the artwork, but that would change the dimensions of the deck and then just to have crow and then but i get it it's kind of like there's no book with this 
badger, barging badger, more. But I do love it. I have no regrets about buying this on Etsy. Tranquil turtle. The flowers and everything around it are gorgeous. And then you can look up, like, I think these are like cherry blossoms. So you can look up about the, the, um, the different kind of flowers as well. Resourceful rabbit. Proud peacock. Oh my gosh. This next animal is my son's favorite animal. I can't wait to show him this. Playful penguin. We went to the Melbourne Aquarium and sorry, Melbourne Aquarium, but Perth's Aquarium is much better and so is Vancouver's. And But they do have a really rad penguin enclosure. It makes sense, right? We're pretty close to South Pole, which is where, like in, in Antarctica, where penguins are. And it smelled so much like fish and they were feeding them, but he wanted to stay. I think we were there for like half an hour. He was obsessed. Orderly Owls is one of my favorite. Oh my God, I just saw the next one. Optimistic Otter. Oh my gosh. Um, so, oh, Otter's adorable. So to the beautiful creator, Fiana, if you're watching this and you have stickers of these animals, can you please send me them? Because I want to put them everywhere. Observant octopus, modest mouse. These are so beautiful. Magical moon. They're, they're just sweet and the detail is gorgeous. Lofty lion. It just goes to show you that like a beautifully executed idea. Oh, happy hedgehog. I don't know. I'm really vibing with this. I think kids would love it. I think... People like me will love it. Elegant Eagle. Um, I think it'd be great for readings with anybody. Benevolent Bull. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a gen gentle thing, right? Honorable Horse. Oh, it's like a carousel horse. Dignified Dragon. Oh, my stars. Look. Oh, noble Narwhal. It's a horse. It's a sea unicorn. <laughs> My next favorite animal, humble honeybee. Uh, this is my solar animal. It's because of the work ethic, community, drive, it's unity. Grounded goat. Frolicking fox. Oh, devoted puppy. But a dog, as mine is sleeping on the couch. Brawny bear. My dog has the good life, everybody. Beautiful butterfly. Oh, look, they look like kitty cats. Tenacious tiger. Serpent sage. And I love snakes. Delicate dove. pretty delightful deer crafty crocodile warrior wolf and this is on the brave bat rowdy rooster and Mystical moth, oh, beautiful lunar moth. They are so stunning. I'm just gonna give this, so there's no guidebook as I mentioned, which I don't think you need with all the information on it. It is such a sweet little deck. And these backs, like I said, I'm a little obsessed. Let's see if we can fan these. Oh, Oh, she fans, she fans, ooh, ooh, baby, when she moves. <laughs> so we, that was nice. Let's see what we're gonna get. Ah, the mischievous monkey. I call my, my little one a monkey all the time. Innovation, confidence, and amusement. Spirited jester of the jungle, bring laughter and delight to my soul. 
Well, this is just uh, what I feel like the doctor ordered for me. Because it's gentle, it can be used for anyone. I think it's a really good deck for kids. It's an indie deck, so if you purchase this, you're supporting an indie artist and create, oh my God. Reminds me of Pascal in Animal Crossing, who is, I want him to just be a villager of mine. Um, so pretty. I'm going to place in the description below where you can go and get this deck. I can't wait to use it. Has anybody else got this deck? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you could, if you give this video a little heart or a thumbs up, that would be really helpful. And thank you so much for watching.